Hey everybody, this is David B69, and I gotta tell you, we gotta talk a little bit about what happened last night. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Everything was great about the whole event. And then at the end, CM Punk comes out and it basically, the place erupted. Um, I don't know if they could have predicted it any more than they did. Um, I thought it was kind of wild how they did that. Um, they actually like put on the bottom right hand corner like the show was over it was all done um i thought that was incredible um and i like really really enjoyed it so i thought it was like really cool um and i'm so excited to have cm punk back in now here's the problem cm punk is like now 45 years old He's not like a spring chicken anymore. It's not like we're getting like CM Punk from 10 years ago where you're gonna have all the great excitement and move sets that he had in the past. Now, this to be said, as much as like that is a downside and he has had some injuries and some other issues, some of the nice parts is he hasn't been wrestling as much as some other people. So he might actually be able to go for a couple more years and be able to do some some cool things. I mean, like I said, problem is he's not going to be able to do the things that some other people can do at this moment. Um, but... WWE has had a lot of injury issues, um, but and to their credit, they're not shying away from them. They're, they're basically keeping those people away until they can come back and be healthy. Um, I'm perfectly cool with that because I want a healthy roster. I don't want anybody getting hurt and risking their lives. Um, it doesn't make any sense. The fact that Randy Orton waited as long as he did to me, shows that they want to go the extra mile. I mean, honestly, like, I think that's the whole reason that CM Punk was good with coming back. I mean, he was perfectly comfortable with it because he felt that it was good. Now, what I did here was I thought it would be interesting is I put Paul Heyman in with CM Punk because I'm actually kind of curious on what Paul Heyman's reaction would be to having CM Punk come back. Um, now we saw, we obviously saw what uh, Seth Rollins felt like after the match. I mean, if you haven't seen that video, search around. He, he was like literally teased um, after that. So yeah, it was kind of wild. Um, now they're gonna try to run back into the ring and probably run right back out. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of, it was kind of wild that uh, Seth Rollins was so text. I, I mean, obviously he knew about it. I mean, obviously this is something that he had to have known. Um, this isn't something that's a surprise. Seth Rollins and CM Punk have had history. Um, it was back. The funny thing was, it was back within the Shield days. Um, Sam Punk has never faced a solo C, um, Seth Rollins without the Shield. So that's kind of interesting on its own. It's the same thing with Roman Reigns. He's never faced Roman Reigns without the Shield being involved, um, which is kind of wild. Um, it's also the case and stuff of looking at wrestling games here and everything. And this is 2K23. And. It's like CM Punk has not been an official part of a wrestling game, I think, since 13. He was the cover boy of 13. Um, and uh, he might have been in 14. I, I can't remember it. It's, that was that was a while ago. I, I don't remember. I have all the games. I just, obviously, I haven't booted it up. 
um, because I really just haven't lost that much sleep over it. Um, but it is an interesting thing. Um, and it's like it would be great and everything to have all of his movesets and everything in the game and it'd be fun to play. But uh, yeah, it's like really cool. And it, like I said, apparently he's in there. He has a couple years of uh, CM Punk in our very near future. Um, and like I said, I really just, I love his sit down and talks and he does all this cool stuff. It should be very entertaining. So, I just basically wanted to uh, just make a quick video. Um, basically giving you my opinion on what exactly is happening with in wrestling. I mean, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, good, I'm a good wrestling fan. I'm not the best wrestling fan I'm not your I'm not your go-to guy and everything for all wrestling news but the fact that CM Punk is back in the mix gets me excited um, and you just can't help but to be excited for ooh, um, for CM Punk to be back in because honestly it makes everybody better in, in, in the industry um, I think it's like really, really cool. Um, I mean, just to show you how things were and stuff. I mean, it's like you get somebody like, um, like some of the old school guys. They're perfectly fine with CM Punk coming back. I mean, Seth Rollins basically was interviewed earlier this year. And he was like, no, I don't like it. He's a, he's kind of a jerk. I don't really don't want CM Punk back in the industry. And that was like over a month ago. But at the same time, he's going to be able to push him to a limit where how many people can actually do that to Seth Rollins. Um, I think that's really cool. Um, and this is what Paul Heyman is an advantage for. He can just talk to the ref and basically like slow down the count um, so that you can actually win and still be able to kick out. So it's kind of wild. Um, so like I said, let me know what your thoughts are. I, I'm like, like I said, I'm really excited. Um, probably learn a lot more tomorrow night on Raw. I don't know. I heard that he's going to be on Raw, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's just... That's one of those things that I can't be 100% sure on. So we shall see. And is Seth Rollins going to win it here? Yep, he did. So until next time, this is David B69, and I'm out. Impressive victory from bell to bell. A very impressive victory for Seth Rollins. The King Slayer.